All righty, a new version. Let's play this in full. Wait, did we cut this short? Let me see here. Hmm. Almost feels like... I can't remember how long the old shot was, but there's a slight feeling of... It's almost like we're, we're having that character come in. I know I'm starting at the end here. And then those legs come forward, but it's always like you want to beat to resolve that and this head up to look. It almost feels like it would cut to something else or be longer. Might just be me, but that's what it feels like. Generally, speaking of feeling, maybe just because I haven't seen it for a while-ish. There's something about this feeling very sleepy. Right. You're going, really? Really? Why didn't you tell me that before? I really don't remember this transition of softness and, and you know, it's like getting up and it's about to stretch and then suddenly, hey, 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 happy. I think the only thing that's missing is that if you do this, there would be a moment maybe through there where the head is higher and there's something you can do in the eyes where it's suddenly seeing it, if that makes sense. Like to me, it feels like I'm, I'm sleepy, stretching and now i'm suddenly active because i see this robot but it doesn't feel how, that at any point it makes that connection and sees it i mean it could be something where you're like this and you make that almost faster so it's kind of like huh and then maybe a little head tilt i know i'm totally changing the shot but and then it goes into this to get out but even then it would have a bit more energy on the down over i hope that makes sense i'm sorry if this is a weird critique I just don't remember how this switched like this. Soft to that. What is this? Let me just see the old version. Let me find it. Okay. So I I looked at it. it there is definitely a similar softness. But what you had... Let me just bring this in. Here is that... There was that flare. So that flare helped. At least there was that there already. Then you go... Ching! But it cuts out. It cuts out just as soon. Interesting. So I I uh, apologize for having zero memory. But I would definitely bring back unless I said take it out. And I'm super confused and I I feel horrible. <laughs> what did I tell you to do? Right now, as of now seeing this, it felt like damn that that flare was great because it's you want to have a moment of alertness of oh I'm seeing something, and then does this happens. These have definitely changed. It's interesting to see that's so separate. It definitely makes it alien looking. I do like that though. Who's over there? I think one thing that's also going to help you, just this has nothing to do with the animation, but I would have pieces, rocks, and stuff like that on the ground because we are also traveling, translating, plus a little rotation. And since this is all gray, mostly gray with some lines, it will help understand the rotation and the move of the camera. Just have some pieces here and we understand the slide a bit more until we see this. Until then, it's it's not super clear at what point is it camera, is it sliding? Because then you have now the foot that's really locked to camera. So if you look at the distance here, it's staying the same a bit. I think that's going to help you with selling all of that. Other than that, this is a bit sharp. I think it's, again, in terms of weight and um, direction changes. So you're having this go up. And since it's lifting, I would probably move, shifting it a bit more over this leg. So a little bit of a translate over the, to this side. But when you go forward like this, you can see how we're hitting it somewhere here. Let's put some it's getting here. Doom. See that? It feels like it hits that wall, but you are moving a lot of mass forward. It's going to ease in and ease out of that sh that turn and change of direction just a bit more. I would say here that's a bit of a sharp move. That's cool. I do like the weight on this though. And a little bit of stylized timing towards the end, but just enough time to go and then go back. I think that's cool. I think a one frame offset might not be enough feels a bit 
like it's all at the same time. You could potentially push that a bit more. And then let me look at the silhouette. It's a tricky in terms of skin. I will probably also rotate this a bit over. There's a flatness to this where I would, I would, it's almost like this side is a bit lower. We see a bit less of this side. This is like rotation complexity. And then maybe even here you could have it. I mean, I, I know it, it smacks flat, but it just feels a bit simple in its axes, how it goes down. You can potentially have some more complications and um, complexities there in that arm rotation. And if you can here, probably bring one of those fingers down so it doesn't feel so flat. Just little things. And then watch out, this gets a bit stiff. There's a lot of movement through there, but I wish this would move a bit more, compress just a bit more. I know that I see stuff, but it feels something here feels a bit stiff, given that rear up and all that weight on it. But yeah, if I told you to take that flare out, then I'm uh, I'm wrong now. <laughs> Maybe I felt like I was right last time. Or you just wanted to take it out. I don't see anything in your emails, but um, it, it helped make that <gasps> connection to something that's outside there. But totally let me know like what, what was going on and what you were working off of. And yeah, it's interesting how now it feels short, but then I looked at, at the previous version and it was just a short. It's cute though, another robot. What's the robot doing? Maybe a bit. It's really leaning over. Maybe. I mean, that's really sideways. Maybe a bit less. Again, this I closed it already. I don't remember what the robot was doing, but maybe a bit less in terms of rotation. But definitely nice to have that complexity in there. And then with that turn, that's cute. But then it rests a bit long. So you have a bit of a hold it's almost like you want to do this which is cool and then rotate the body back so that by now the body like this line is not like like this but already lower and the weight has stabilized just because we have such a small such small rotor blades in the body for like the weight would be just pulling this straight down the the move back is cute the drag on the feet is cute yeah yeah, it's a little tiny thing on the robot. It's cute, though. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that was not super confusing. And it's little things. I think the overall weight works a lot better. I think what the mom or dad or whatever it is here is doing works pretty well. I like all the detail. You can tell it's breathing and sleeping. All that stuff is really cool. I like the fleshiness and the feel of this here. All of that. Like It feels like there's good mass and it feels fleshy with contact like that's super cool so the biggest thing which again either, you, either we i gave you a wrong note i was wrong you changed something it's just something in the eyes or again the flare here and somehow bridging this where it's not so slow and fast 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 there's something where it would probably help you to go instead of down and it's looking and it's looking and it's looking and only now it's up it's because it saw something it's almost like you want to do this and don't go as low and here lead with the head and the head goes up because the head wants to look at the uh, the focus of interest i think that might help you and if i'm talking out of my butt and saying weird stuff let me know that's totally possible as well And watch out, this feels a bit slow as well, dare I say. For being so off balance and sliding with that mass, it's almost like at least one of those arms would slide a bit faster into this. There's a bit of a softness in this, just this section timing-wise. And they're probably mostly in arms. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.